In the last presentation, we completed the sum of product and it is of two types. The first one is the canonical or standard SOP form and the second one is the minimal SOP form. Let us revise it quickly then we will solve two problems that I have already written here. In canonical or standard SOP form, each main term is having all the variables in normal or complemented form. So if I see this example in this the function is f and there are three main terms. The first is a complement b, the second is a b, the third is a complement b complement. And uh, in total we have two variables, we have two variables a and a b and you can see that this one is min term 1 this is min term 3 and this one is min term 0 so each of this min term is having a and b whether in normal or complemented form by normal i mean we have a or b and by complemented form i mean a complement or b complement so in m1 i have a in complemented form and b in normal form in m3 i have a and b in normal forms and in m0 both a and b are in complemented form so definitely it satisfied our requirement that each min term must have all the variables all the variables in normal or complemented form and here in all the min terms we have have a b in normal or complemented form so this is all about the canonical or standard sop form in minimal sop form each min term does not have all the variables does not have all the variables in normal or complemented form we use boolean algebra or k map method or tabular method to minimize this and we have the minimal sop form and in that we don't have all the variables involved in normal or complemented form like in this case you can see we don't have b and c a b c are the three variables for this function g and in the first min term we don't have a b or a c and in the same way in second min term we don't have a so this we call as the minimal top form i hope you understand these things now we will move to the example number one in this we have the truth table that you can see and for the given truth table minimize the swap expression so let's see how we can have the swap expression by using this truth table so let's move to our solution if you remember i told you we use swap form or we write swap form for the output when it is high so if i say one is there then i will write the variable as a and if zero is there i will write the variable as a complement if a is my variable and it is one i will write it as a and uh, if it is zero i will write it as a complement and we have to write down the swap form for the high output only so these are the two cases for which the output is high it is one so let's write it down quickly for the first case you can see a is zero so i will write a complement and we have b as 1 so I will write b or for the last case I have a as 1 b as 1 so simply a and a b now we have to minimize the swap expression so I have to minimize it by using the boolean algebra and I will take b as common so I'm left with a complement or a and b and you very well know that a complement or a is equal to 1 1 and b this will give me y as a b and you can clearly see that when b is 0 the output is 0 when b is 1 output is 1 again when b is 0 output is 0 and finally when b is 1 output is 1 so simply y is equal to b and uh, this is what we have as our uh, result by using the boolean algebra in this way you have to approach for the uh, swap expression and the question number two says simplify the expression for m equal to 0, 2 and 3. The min terms are 0, 2 and 3. Instead of having the truth table, we have the expression like this in which the min terms are involved. And uh, you can see there are two variables. So let's try to write down the SOP form. This one, this one is the canonical or standard sop form and uh, this one y equals to b is the minimal sop 
form and you can see that this canonical or standard swap form we have directly written from the truth table we have directly written from the truth table and in this all the min terms have each variables in complemented or normal form whereas in this we don't have all the variables in normal or complemented form a is missing here in the same way we have to approach for the question number two and i will write down the canonical form first we have m0 or m2 or m3 m0 is a complement b complement if you remember from the truth table uh, let me do it here this is 0 0 so I have m 0 the 0 represents the decimal equivalent of uh, this 0 0 0 1 is m 1 1 0 is m 2 1 1 is m 3 these are the main terms and uh, m 0 is there it means the function y is high for the first case so I have written a complement b complement because a is 0 b is 0 in the same way for m2 you can see a is 1 whereas b is 0 so I will write down a or b complement and for m3 you can see a is 1 as well b is 1 so I have a and a b so this is my canonical SOP form and I will use boolean algebra to minimize it so let's do it quickly you already know how to do that and uh, I can see B complement can be taken as common or you can take A as common from the last two term you can do whatever you want so I'm left with A complement or A B complement or A and B A complement or A is 1 so 1 and B complement or A and B 1 or B complement is B complement or A and B now from the distributive law if you remember I'm using it so many times and when we were studying the boolean algebra I told you that I'm going to use it number of times A complement or A and B if this is the case then I can write it as A complement or B I have to just neglect this A in the same way I have B complement or A B so I will neglect this B and I have B complement or A so this one is the minimal SOP form the sum of product form and this one is the canonical sum of product form so this is how you have to solve the problems I hope you got these things if you have any doubt you can ask in the next presentation we will study the pause form so see you in the next one